congratulations on the film though i really enjoyed it um, i wondered how you um got into acting in the first place because i read that you actually started out learning dance and learning music so what led you to acting well it was um yeah i was i think interested by it since i was a little kid because i did some um i, I made a, a circus school when i was a really young uh, uh, girl and uh, then um, i did some claquettes i don't know how to say it in english uh, step dance tap dancing tap dance exactly for a while but acting it really was um kind of i, I don't really like to say it but um um come on dear um, oh sorry um okay. random i mean uh, i was with my mom in the street uh, i was going to buy some shoes and there the a girl just uh, came and say uh, they were they were doing um, a casting sauvage we say a wild casting in yep. french i don't yes. know how to yeah and uh, they said do you want to try and i was with my mom so i said yes and uh, i got the part and then i I, uh, I had an amazing experience and my mom said, do you want to do it again? And I was like, yeah, sure. And uh, she made me um, meet um, an agent and that's how I started. And that's how you started. Mm -hmm. So your career has been mainly acting either on TV or in films. Why, um, why did you go down that route instead of maybe, you know, acting in the theatre? Well, there is a, a part of my family uh, doing some um, uh, acting in theater. And I was really, uh, how do you say, um, uh, impressed. And uh, I, I loved the energy when I saw it in, uh, in the theater. But there was something really uh, familial. Um, and I was not like really attracted by another kind of theater uh, instead of, uh, the, the theater of my family was so great and um, I mean, um, I was not attracted by it and I was so afraid of the audience too, I think. And uh, yeah, I don't know, um, what is the beginning of the question you said? So uh, you decided to do, to do something different, to do your own thing as it were? Exactly, kind of, because um, well, I don't know why actually. It, it happened with the films at the beginning and uh, not really with theater, I did once theater and I loved it but it was really really scary too um, I think <laughs> uh, but yeah mainly uh, I, I mean a, a sitcom in France uh, uh, for uh, nine years now yeah. but I did some movies too uh, um, yeah some little parts uh, because I had a lot of uh, work with the sitcom actually so is, is um, The Drifters your first film in English? In England, yeah, yeah. It was my first, first, um, how do you say, premier role? Yeah, lead role. Yeah. Lead role, that was the first time, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it was amazing, I loved it. Uh, I was so afraid uh, of the English, actually, because um, <laughs> I lied, I, I had to tell you, I lied when they said, are you bilingual? I was like, yeah, 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 of course I am. <laughs> and during the casting, I was like, fuck, what I, what I, I did, bro. Uh, really with a culot, how do you say in English, culot? I, I should open my reverso somewhere for being able to, to translate everything. I think you probably mean slang or the sort of colloquial language. Maybe, yeah. yeah. And I'm just checking. Culot en anglais. What a cheek. Ooh. What a cheek. A nerve. Hell of a nerve. Okay. All right. <laughs> I was like, yeah, and they were, they were, they were like asking me like, so at the beginning of the casting, there were so many questions and I was like, yeah, 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 no, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> like just catching some words. And then I worked a lot between yeah. the beginning of the, of the shooting and the casting. Uh, and um, yeah, I, I learned a lot during the shoot actually. So do you think, you think your, your English has improved as a result of, of making the film? I, I hope so, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think... It's not been that bad to start with. Oui, for sure, <laughs> for sure it's not bad. And uh, yeah, I, I, every t I think the, the, where I learned the most was after shooting days. I mean, uh, with the crew at the end of the day, when we were drinking and eating and stuff, 
that's where uh, I get the, the more experience, I think. Of how, well, it felt like that maybe I was a little bit drunk and more like, yeah, I'm going to speak English and more now. relaxed. Right? That's it. <laughs> I think so. The two main characters in the film, Kofi and, and your character, Fanny, they actually meet while they're learning English. Um, and your character seems to have an awful lot of confidence and she's very assertive when we first meet her. Was that why you wanted to play her? And d did you base her on anybody that you know? Um, not really like uh, with somebody I know. I, I actually, we worked for five days before the shooting with the director and Jonathan. And it really appears uh, during this, uh, this work that she was so confident at the beginning, but always um, a facade, you know, like a mask kind of, because she was really on her own actually. And so I think she, it was interesting for me for being like this with her, like really confident and, and really um, with makeup and hair and really dressed like well, really cute quoi. And then, uh, the fact she's you're getting into her and like uh, uh, she don't have a, a stuff all the way. Fin, she she yeah I love the fact that she changed during the film and lose all this and uh, uh, begin to show a vulnerability uh, and that was a really good part like uh, feeling how she changed and during the shooting period it it was um, uh, better. I mean we start with those scenes. And I think I need it for me, like I'm an actress, uh, to be confident too. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to be two months in England, but yeah, it's all right. <laughs> a little bit stressed about it. So I think, I, I, yeah, I was kind of uh, inspired by something I real for real. I feel for real. Like uh, I have to be, I have to do the job. And most of your scenes are with Jonathan, who plays. Kofi, how did you go about sort of getting a, a rapport with him so that we see that on the screen? I mean, did you rehearse together? It sounds like you did. Yes, we did for five days in London and uh, I was uh, by my own in, a, in an hotel next to Jonathan's place. And then we worked during the day and after the day, we hang out a lot. We, he, he showed me all the neighborhood and uh, uh, we were always together, like during the work and uh, outside the work. I think that's um, when we bond. And we were like so excited and, and found we needed each other for sure. And uh, luckily something happened between them, between us, I mean. Which is good. And you filmed uh, down in Devon, which is in the southwest of England. Was that the first time you'd ever been there? Yes. Uh, it was the first time in the south of England and Devon was, fun. I was really moved, I think. Uh, I love this place, the, um, the landscapes, uh, the little town, it, I loved it. It was the first time. So um, it is a beautiful part of the country, but it looked from the film like the sun was shining all the time. I know. It can't have been like that really, surely. <laughs> It was actually really? everybody was so like surprised and happy and I think stressed about it because it's too good to be true, you know, kind of. But yeah. uh, I think it served a lot of the film actually because sometimes I, I saw it like um, um, a tale, kind of. There is something you 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 don't really know where they are. What time is it? The day seems to be so long, kind of. Uh, and it, 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 the fact that there is so, it's so sunny and uh, uh, the landscapes are beautiful. It, it, I feel like a fantasy coming, uh, you can see the fantasy they have in mind. So yeah, we were lucky for, for just uh, how we made the film, but for the story too, I think it was really a nice thing. The fact but there was. <laughs> you, you said earlier that you've, you've been in a, a series which has run for nine years, which is, which is En Famille, which you're known in France for. Um, so you've been playing the same character all that time as well. And I wondered if one of the reasons why you, you decided to do The Drifters was because it was something 
totally different. For sure. And you've been in a series for, for that long. I mean, do you ever worry that um, all the parts you get offered are kind of the same as, as Chloe in En Famille? Of course, <laughs> of course. Uh, in France, they keep asking me for that, for that kind of uh, part. And I'm like really fighting for for not doing exactly the same. Sometimes even like the name of the character is the same and I'm like, no, me. No, no. Please, for some imagination. Uh, so yes, of course, uh, I was so happy about the script and the, this character with all of, um, but yes, vulnerability. I mean, the fact she's a little bit uh, autodestructive and uh, looking for yeah, yeah, for, she was surprising. And, and the fact, for, even if it was for, for two months of shooting, I think I loved her, like, the same as I loved Chloe uh, for 10 years, for nine years. I mean, uh, but yes, of course, I was so happy for having another kind of a, of a feminine role. So, so what are you doing next? I mean, assuming COVID will allow you to do something. Well, for sure. Um, I'm doing a lot of uh, directing actually in France right now. Yeah. And I'm doing some uh, editing too. So uh, because of the COVID, I do a lot of editing right now. But I think I'm going to edit some, well, uh, I'm going to direct, direct some um, a music video uh, the, in May. If, it, if everything goes well and the COVID uh, comes down a little bit. Um, but no, uh, uh, for acting stuff, I, I didn't really do anything. Even casting was so complicated to do. And uh, I did a lot of Zoom casting stuff, but uh, I'm not really fond of it. And I think you miss something when you do that. But for acting, not really. Uh, I, I still doing the sitcom uh, for this year. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm doing some, um, the other, um, I work behind the camera a little bit too. You're obviously at home with cameras, whether you're behind it or in front of it. Exactly, <laughs> that's all the way. And I think this is something you can do in uh, cinema kind of, I mean, you can work in a um, lot of parts and you are accepted, uh, accepted for doing it. I mean, you can be an actress and try editing or try directing and the other way around, I think. Well, there are so many act or, you know, performers who started out as, as actors and have moved into directing, writing, producing. This is how, Why not? I love all the, all the way. And I they, love they all merge into one job sometimes as well. And the people that do them don't see any sort of boundaries. It's all part exactly. and parcel of that sort of creative process. Sometimes it's great and sometimes it's awful to be <laughs> all of this stuff. Like any job. For sure. <laughs> Lucy, thank you so much for your time. It's been lovely to, to have a chat with you. And thank, uh, you. thank you so much for the film as well. Merci beaucoup. De rien, merci beaucoup à vous. Au plaisir. <laughs>